Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admission Officers Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you're here. Before we get started, we do have a few housekeeping items to note. First, if you have any questions at all, feel free to submit those through the Q&A button. You can type in your questions to presenters at any time. They are there, ready and available to assist with any questions you have. Your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. There are more sessions happening. So feel free to sign up for more college presentations where you signed up for this one. And all sessions are being recorded and will be available a week from today. You can access all recordings at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. We are currently in session A2, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And this will also be the order of our presentations for tonight. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first representative from Davidson Davy Community College. Thank you so much. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Kaylin Asip, and I am the Director of Recruitment and Admissions at Davidson Davy Community College. I am joined by Jenny Ferguson, a college recruiter, who is here in the chat to answer any questions as we go, but I'll go ahead and get started on the presentation. To give you a better sense of our community, let's start with some quick facts. So you may be wondering, who is Davidson Davy Community College? Formerly Davidson County Community College, in January 2021, we did switch our name to be more inclusive of the community that we serve, both Davidson and Davie counties in North Carolina. We have multiple locations to make it easy and convenient for you to continue your education. You'll be able to take advantage of countless opportunities in our mid-sized community while still benefiting from the small class sizes where professors get to know you and help you achieve your goals. With over 40 programs to choose from, you'll, sure be, you'll be able to find your perfect fit program with us. And if you don't think that a community college can give you that same campus feel as a four-year traditional college, you're wrong. Our students boast that they really enjoy their experience outside the classroom through a number of clubs and organizations, our athletic programs, as well as study abroad experiences. You'll note that we do have multiple entry terms with eight week courses. So we have a fall one, two, spring one and two, and then summer op option. I've already talked a little bit about some of the benefits, but here are some of the why Davidson Davy highlights that I definitely wanted to share with you. So students have a ton of options when it comes to their academic schedule. So you can balance school, work and life easily. Small class sizes, like I mentioned before, mean your professors know you on a personal level and can really help you with setting your goals and achieving them. Speaking of hands-on experience, we are known for our strong workforce development embedded into our curriculum with wonderful lab spaces and research opportunities. This all comes at free tuition costs for students interested in our dual enrollment or college and career promise program. So why wouldn't you graduate with an associate's degree if you have it for free at your fingertips? We also have a number of four-year college partners. Some of those are listed here that will enable you to continue on your education at the four-year bachelor's level if that's something that you're interested in your pathway. Um, all of this, while really affordable, um, we know that affordability is a top priority. So being able to take advantage of this and graduating with little to no student loan debt um, is really important to us. Speaking a little bit more about um, why money matters and affordability, students at Davidson Davy don't feel like they have to compromise their academic and campus experience for cost. As seen here, there is a huge cost savings by attending um, Davidson Davy Community College uh, versus some of our competitors and other North Carolina schools. We want to make sure that you still have that value education at a lower cost, and 75% of our students do take advantage of financial aid. If Davidson Davy sounds like it might be a good fit for you, I'd love to go over your next steps so that you're successful in transitioning to us. Those include completing your CFNC application, completing RDS. You'll want to submit the FAFSA, request your transcripts, register for our enrollment information session or EIS as we call it here at Davidson Davy, um, complete orientation, meet with your advisor, and then get started. 
So we are an open enrollment school. And what that means is that you can apply at any time to enroll with us, but we really suggest that you apply and give yourself enough time. Um, so you apply two weeks prior to the start of term. That gives you enough time to complete the steps. There are some of our programs that we offer that are more competitive. We call them special criteria programs and there are applications specific to those. You can see some of those listed here. Many of those deadlines have already passed. A lot of them are fall entry programs. So you wanna pay particular attention if you are interested in any of our special credit programs. Um, and you can always reach out to us with any questions. Our CCP or Career and College Promise program um, is also a separate application. So reach out if you have questions about that. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the RDS process. So complete RDS by going to ncresidency.org and include your RCN in your application so we can verify your residency. The cost savings I mentioned earlier is in part due to lower tuition and fees, but also the ability to award financial aid to students, but we can't do that without your FAFSA. So make sure that you're adding um, Davidson Davy to your FAFSA at fafsa.ed.gov when you complete your FAFSA. I know there's a lot of information on this screen, but your financial aid package could include grants, which is free money, loans, which you have to pay back, or scholarships, which are typically awarded for academic or personal achievement. We really encourage all students to submit their transcripts to us. And while we don't require transcripts for general admissions, some programs do, like those special criteria programs listed before. High school transcripts can be unofficial, but we do need official college transcripts if you're trying to transfer any credit in so that we can count that towards your degree program or plan. So you've completed your application, RDS, submitted your FAFSA, now you're admitted, so what's next? So a few other checklist items, complete your enrollment information session, after you complete that, you'll speak with our career services department that will get you um, in touch with the or new student orientation. After orientation, you'll meet with your academic advisor to create your class schedule, you'll register for classes, and then you'll start at Davidson Davy. Our upcoming terms include summer, the start date of June 7th, and our first eight, fall eight weeks starts on August 16th. If you wanna learn more about our community, join us on April 17th at 1 p.m. for our virtual open house where you'll hear from faculty, staff, current students, and you can scan the QR code to register. If you have any questions or want to learn more, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can also capture this QR code to request more information or follow us on Instagram. Thanks so much for your attention and welcome to Davidson Davy Community College. Great, thank you. The next representative is from Full Sail University. Thank you, Catherine, and hello, everybody. My name is Emily Miller, and I'm excited to talk to you tonight about Full Sail. So let me go ahead and get my screen share, and then we'll get started. All right, so if you've never heard of Full Sail University before, we are an entertainment, media, art, and technology school, and we're actually located down in Orlando, Florida. So probably about six to eight hours from wherever you're located in the Carolinas. Uh, Full Sail is a school that thrives on creativity. So if you're somebody who has a creative passion to do something in the entertainment industry, whether that's create music or make movies or make video games, uh, we might be the school for you. So I'm gonna start off with a quick video to kind of show you a little bit more about who we are, and then I'll give you some more information. It said, if you're serious about your dream, we'll take your dream seriously. That is what Full Sail is all about. Uh, if you have a creative dream and you're willing, willing to do what it takes to achieve it, we are willing to do whatever it takes to help you get there. So you can also see in the video a little introduction to each of our degree program areas, and you can see them again on the screen. We do offer over 50 bachelor's degrees to choose from right now, and those fall into the categories you see on the screen. So. If there is a program you're interested in and it fits in one of these categories, we more than likely have it. 
just send me a message or uh, uh, put a question in the Q&A and I can tell you more about each of these different areas. But all of our degree programs are a little bit different than you may be used to or maybe expect. Um, the first really big difference is that all of our programs are accelerated. So typically, um, bachelor's degrees take four years to complete. At Full Sail, we cut that in half. So to get a full bachelor's degree, it only takes two years. It's 20 months for an on-campus student and then about 29 months for an online student. So either way, sitting right around the two year mark. And that is super, super advantageous for students because you can graduate two years ahead of your peers and start working your way up in the industry, working toward your dream job, while at the same time, getting income and being able to pay back your student loans. The next thing here, we have a rolling admissions. So you could apply anytime throughout the year, but we also have a rolling start date. So we actually start a new class of students every single month. So instead of having to wait for the next semester to begin, you can actually just wait a couple weeks until the next month, if whenever you're ready. Um, the next thing here, come back anytime. We have an initiative where we invite all of our alumni back to retake courses in their field for free for the rest of their life. Um, so if they graduate from Full Sail, they can do this. And the important thing here is that technology changes all the time. Um, as you know, you know, video game consoles change every couple of years. The cameras used for filming change all the time. So we wanna make sure that our students can always be relevant and up to date with the technology in their industry. That's why they can come back and retake these courses again for free. And the last thing here is we have a big focus on career development. We have each student take seven career module courses, including things like interview skills, networking, resume writing, and they also each complete a portfolio project. This is because we want to make sure all of our graduates are not only prepared to do their future job, but also are prepared to get a job when they graduate. And our grads have gone on to do some phenomenal things through the years. Um, you can see a couple on the screen. Within the past year, we have had, let me see, 140 graduates that were Oscar nominated. This year we had 57 of our grads that were Grammy nominated. And back in December, we had 271 that were Game Award nominated. And on the screen, you're about to see a few companies pop up. These are just a few examples out of many um, companies that our students have gone on to work for. These obviously are bigger companies. Some of our graduates have worked for smaller companies and some have started their own. Um, a couple of things to highlight on this slide. I'm not going to have time to speak about all of them, but I wanted to let you know that we do have relatively small class sizes. If you were to take a lecture style course, it would be about 120 students to one instructor. But any of our hands on learning classes, those would be much smaller. It would be six students, 12 students or 24 students to one instructor. And we also have a lot of clubs and organizations you could choose from or you could start your own. Um, one to highlight is our Armada esports team. I went through that a little too fast, um, but this is our competitive esports team. We compete in about 10 games right now, including Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, and Rocket League. And they compete at our campus in the Fortress, which right now is the largest collegiate esports arena in the United States. So if this seems like it could be a good fit for you, if you want to take a, a jump down to Florida and pursue an entertainment degree program, the first thing you would do is get in touch with our admissions team and complete an admissions interview. Next up, you can check out our scholarship guide and see what you qualify for. We do have two new uh, scholarships right now called Women in Tech and Emerging Tech. These are both full tuition scholarships. There are a few requirements on the slide here, but I recommend reading our, tuition, or our scholarship guide to get more information about those. So if you're a technology person, definitely go for that. And last but not least, if you would like more information, you can scan the QR code or email me directly at elmiller at wholesale.com. I'll put that in the chat as well. That way you can ask any questions that you have. So thank you all for being here tonight. Catherine, thank you for facilitating and I hope everyone has a great evening. Great, thank you. Just a friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all to feel free to submit those through the Q&A, our representatives are there ready to assist you and answer any questions you have. The next representative is from Barton College. Thank you, Catherine. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen with you guys so you can get my presentation. Um, 
All right, so like she said, um, this is Barton College. My name is Caitlin Kosuda. I'm the Associate Director of Admissions here at Barton. I have our Director of Admissions monitoring the chat box. So if you guys have any questions along the way, um, feel free to type those in. And um, there's also a QR code on the screen if you'd like to receive some more information about Barton as well too. Um, so who is Barton? Uh, we are a private liberal arts college located in Wilson, North Carolina. So about 30 to 40 minutes from Raleigh and 20 to 25 minutes from Greenville. Um, so like I said, we're small. So we focus on school on a first name basis. Um, you'll always have someone to talk to and succeed and answer your questions about your majors. Um, but we're really excited to have that small focus for students. Um, so some quick facts about Barton. Like I said, we're located in Wilson. We're home of the Bulldogs. Um, we have an average class size of 16 students. Uh, we're just over 1,100 population wise, over 50 majors and minors that you can be involved with. And our student to faculty ratio is 11 to one. So once again, emphasizing um, that small atmosphere. We also are um, D2 athletics and we just added football this year. And uh, this is a list of some of our under undergraduate academic programs. Uh, we do have five master's degrees as well, including a master's in kinesiology, nursing, business, and elementary education. Um, so hopefully you see a major here that is in of interest to you. Um, the highlighted ones in blue are going to be our most popular. So nursing, of course, um, education, business, um, exercise science. So those are some of our more popular ones that students have gone on to graduate school. Either we have a graduate program for those those um, or uh, we've had a very high success rate with those programs as well too. So hopefully you see something of interest that catches your eye that you have questions about. Um, one thing we offer for students, we have an excellent honors program. Um, so the requirements are listed on your screen here. If you are a senior or an upcoming senior, um, do be aware of that. Um, it is an excellent program to be a part of. Um, this program is also test optional for this year as well too. Um, some other opportunities that we have for students are study abroad. Um, so if you haven't heard of some of these programs, we have students who've studied abroad in Prague at Oxford in England. Um, there's also semester at sea where you can study on a cruise ship all semester and visit um, countries all over the world. So I highly recommend these programs if you're looking to explore the world, but also um, receive a scholarship for doing it, um, class credit and further your education um, in a different place. So highly recommend um, our study abroad program as well. As I mentioned, we are D2 Athletics, so these are all of our athletic programs that we offer men's and women's. Uh, like I said, we just added football this year. Um, more recent is lacrosse, cheer and dance, swimming. Um, so these are excellent programs to be a part of. Um, we have some great recognition within the D2 Athletics. We are a part of Conference Carolinas, so we've had some recent titles that we've won, um, especially with our swimming program winning conference. So definitely check out an athletic program if you're interested. Um, another thing we highlight at Barton is our co-curricular programs. So when you apply to Barton, you'll have a chance to apply for one of these cohort programs. Most of them do offer scholarships as well. So this is a chance for you to be a part of a program outside of your major. So if you're a leader in your high school or your church or community, if you want early entrance into our nursing program, if you're a part of Air Force ROTC and looking to continue that, um, or if you're a part of ART or AVID or interested in uh, furthering your healthcare um, career with biology, your chemistry, exercise science. So these are great programs to be a part of. If you play an instrument, we have a pet band. Um, so definitely look into those if you're interested in applying. And we have open houses and um, interest days for these programs where you can get to learn a little bit more about how you can be involved with Barton outside of your academics as well. For our admissions process, we are test optional this year. Um, so this doesn't necessarily reflect everything that we go through, but uh, we're gonna need your official high school transcript. And if you did have a chance to take the test scores, we will need those as well too. If not, no problem. Uh, we may ask for letters of recommendation to replace that test score. Um, so, but like I said, we are test optional and we'll have an update on how we continue into next year as well, but no worries if you didn't have a chance to complete your test score for this year. We do offer financial aid and scholarships. 98% of our students do receive some sort of financial aid. Um, so this also includes a merit scholarship. Every student who's accepted to Barton will receive a merit scholarship ranging from $5,000 to $14,000 per year. So depending on your high school GPA, those transcripts, letters of recommendation, um, you can possibly receive one of these merit scholarships. We do have endowed scholarships for students as well. So these are particular, um, not always guaranteed, um, but something to help, uh, help with your payment for college and your tuition, um, but could also be um, another way for you to connect to someone at Barton as well too. 
We have many visit opportunities coming up. Uh, we have virtual and on campus opportunities. So we're lucky to have been open for this year, of course, with COVID restrictions. But um, if you're interested in visiting Barton, North Carolina, we're not too far away from all the big cities. So I definitely recommend um, coming to check us out. Um, so that's it for me. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the chat box and we'll be here to monitor them throughout the rest of the time. So thanks so much. Hope you look at Barton. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very helpful <laughs> information. The next representative is from the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Thanks so much. My name is Andre Hill. I'm the Associate Director for Recruitment for UNC Greensboro. I have Lauren Scott, who's one of my colleagues, who will also be participating tonight. So please feel free to ask us questions as we are in the chat. And thanks so much for being here. Some quick facts about UNCG. We are uh, part of, of course, the public university system here in North Carolina, located in Greensboro, the third largest city in the state. And we'll spend some time talking about what that's gonna mean to your college experience. Some of the quick facts about us, we are currently now at 20,000 students overall, uh, which definitely puts us into the larger size uh, campuses of North Carolina, but we're gonna talk a little bit about why, uh, what we have done to try to make that campus feel to be the right size for you. There are over 125 different majors and programs that are available, graduate and PhD programs as well. So we wanna make sure that students, as they're looking for the thing, thing that's gonna be the right fit for them, there are gonna be plenty of majors, programs, courses, interests, minors that you can choose from. But even with us being at 20,000 students that having over 125 different majors, uh, our student to faculty ratio and our average size class, we still feel really proud of that we want students to be able to find the connections, to be able to connect with professors, with faculty, to look at study abroad, to look at honors and all of the other experiences that you're looking for as a part of your college experience. And finding your people, finding your space on campus or finding your tribe is one way I've heard it referred to, which I love. We have over 350 student groups. A majority of our first year students live on campus and find those spaces where they can be connected to other students and find ways to get involved. We are a division one school. We're in the Southern Conference. Uh, our men's basketball team was just in the NCAA tournament. We're really proud of the performance that they had, but there's plenty of ways for you to cheer on other Spartans that are around the campus. Checking out the lower left, you've got our admitted student profile um, with test scores included. That was from uh, uh, fall of 2020. Of course, for this year, uh, test scores were optional, uh, but we want to make sure that the students are going to be competitive through the process. So if this looks like you or you feel close to these numbers, we're excited to have you to be able to apply to our campus. If this is not quite your profile, reach out to us, make an appointment, talk with a student, talk with one of our counselors, and we'd be happy to talk with you about what your uh, potential for admission might look like. We have a list of the top 10 majors. These are the most popular majors by number across our campus. But again, there are plenty of other options that are here. Uh, business, nursing represented some of our most competitive um, and strongest programs across the campus. But there's many other options um, that are going to be available to you. And we also have plenty of pre-professional programs. So students who may be looking for law school, med school, uh, veterinary school, once you finish your undergraduate degree, we're going to coach you through those options as well. Our students come from everywhere. When we say everywhere, we literally mean everywhere. All 100 counties here in North Carolina, 46 different states across the United States of America, and almost 80 different countries around the world. So whatever your situation is, whatever you look like, sound like, believe in, there are going to be students who are going to have some of those same similar beliefs, but also students who are going to be different. We also have a really high population of adult students and transfers that are here. So when these mix of students all come together on this campus, all being Spartans, we have an opportunity to learn from each other and have those different varied experiences to all inform our experience of being here on this campus. I had mentioned before Green being located in Greensboro is going to be important. Number one, with it being the third largest city in the state of North Carolina, there are going to be plenty of things to do. So you've got sports, you've got concerts, you've got the downtown area, and we're about literally about five minutes away. So having things to do around the campus is going to be great. Uh, there's also going to be the idea of as you're looking for your part time jobs, your internships, those other experiences that you may not be able to find in other portions of the state, those things are going to be available for you right here. So as you look at some of the larger companies that are have their headquarters located here in the city of Greensboro and many other smaller businesses, community groups, organizations, as you're thinking about what are the things that are going to prepare me for 
what life is going to be like once I graduate. What are going to be the opportunities that are going to help me leapfrog into the grad school of my choice or the career of my choice? Those businesses, those organizations are going to be close at hand, and we're going to try to make those opportunities available for you. So if all those things sound great, we encourage you to apply. The online application is available through our portal called Spartan Link. There is a $65 application fee. We need your official transcripts to be submitted. The essay for freshmen is optional. You can write it, send it, great, we'll use it. Uh, if you choose not to, it's not gonna be held against you. Uh, when you look at our uh, tuition and fees, uh, we feel like we are gonna be very competitive for the value that we offer. So we do encourage students to apply for federal financial aid. I think over 80% of our students are using some sort of financial assistance as they're here on the campus. So we wanna do everything we can to support the experience while you're here. Looking at our deadlines, we have a couple of different ones that are out there for freshmen. We encourage you to apply by the earliest deadline that you can, and we will continue to review applications as we have space. Uh, for anybody who may be starting in the spring semester, you have hard set deadline at December 1. But again, if you're looking at fall, you have several deadlines over the course of the semester. We, we do encourage you to apply early for best consideration and to make sure that you're going to be considered for scholarships. Now, all the pieces that I've listed out for you are listed here, are listed on our website. And if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting to talk with one of the counselors, myself, or anyone else in the office, call us, text us, or visit the Find Your Counselor site on the admissions website, and we'd be happy to talk with you more specifically in one-on-one. -on -one. Thanks again for your time and attention, everyone. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Before we hear from our next two representatives, um, I do want to uh, go ahead and uh, say another reminder to submit your questions through the Q&A. Um, our representatives are there to answer any questions that you have about the college application process, um, or even if you have a specific question for a school, um, we also encourage you to include the school name as well. Uh, I'm excited to introduce our next representative from Shaw University. Good evening, afternoon, morning, wherever you are in the world watching this. I am Ryan Wright, a admissions counselor and recruiter here at Shaw University, and I'm also the alumnus. So I'm going to share my screen uh, so we can watch a quick video together. And then I'm going to come back. Welcome to Shaw University, a place where history is made Leaders emerge and transformation begins. Founded in 1865, we were the first HBCU in the Southern United States. Our vibrant campus is a unique living and learning community. We are located in the heart of downtown Raleigh and a short drive from Research Triangle Park, the largest technology research park in the country. We are a place where opportunity surrounds you. IBM, GlaxoSmithKline, Pharmaceuticals, Duke Energy are just three of the many well-known companies that offer internships and hire our graduates. Within walking distance of campus, you can attend networking events or take advantage of internships. You can even launch your own business at Shaw University's Innovation and Entrepreneurship Center. At Shaw University, you will learn from dedicated professors and meet lifelong friends. You can take part in over 30 different academic and service organizations. Get involved in Greek life, sports, or the Platinum Sound Shaw University's notable marching band. From its start as the first historically black university in the Southern United States to the vibrant campus we are today, Shaw University is the right place to grow, learn, and explore. All right, so that was just a little bit about Shaw University. So Shaw University, again, was founded on Monday, December 1st, 1865. We were and are the first historically Black college and university founded um, in the South. Um, so we have a population of around 1,300 students with a 15 to 1 student faculty ratio. Um, so it was, was, we had a small um, campus located downtown. So our requirements to get into university, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the Q&A uh, chat box as well. So our admissions requirement, our GPA 
Our minimal GPA requirement is 2.0 GPA. Uh, we are test optional for um, due to COVID, so we are test optional. Um, also, we do not require letters of recommendations nor essays. Um, so you will be required to uh, fill out a background check um, if we feel the need um, to get one. So when you apply, you will have um, maybe yes, five, six security questions. And if you answer yes to any of those questions, uh, we will ask for a background check. Um, if you answer no, then you don't have to worry about that. Um, and we are um, open um, admissions, rolling admissions um, throughout the year. So you can apply uh, whenever. Um, so that's just a little bit. I will put, uh, or you can ask me for a fee waiver in the Q&A, and I will be glad um, to give you that fee waiver code for the application fee. Uh, we are Division Two. We are part of the CIAA, so we have both men and women um, sports. We do give athletic scholarships as well. Um, so again, we are part of the CIAA. Um, Shaw University has a combined of 60 CIAA championships um, throughout all the 13 sports that we have on campus. We have one NCAA national championship um, in women's basketball. Um, so if you want more information as that, just check out our website and um, we, I will get you um, in contact with coaches. So if you want to put your information in the Q&A box as well, I would be gladly to get your information to um, our coaches for the sport that you're interested in. Uh, we have about 20 different academic majors here on campus. Uh, our top five will include education, biology, social work, criminal justice, and mass communications. Um, so those are just a few of our uh, majors that we offer um, here at Shaw University. So you can live on and off campus. Um, I, our tuition is $24,954, $24,954, I'm sorry. Um, so that's our tuition per year. Uh, off campus, uh, subtract 8,000 from that, um, it would be um, around maybe, subtract eight, I'm sorry, it's been a long day. So subtract uh, 8,000 from that, and that would be the off campus um, tuition. Uh, we do encourage all of our freshmen and sophomores to live on campus. Uh, we do encourage our juniors and seniors to live on campus as well, but if not, that's fine as well. Uh, so we are under the leadership of our 18th president, Dr. Paula Dillard. Um, she's great. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My information is um, here, um, ryan.right at shawu.edu. You can contact me, text Marcel, or you can call my office phone number, and I will be glad to give you all um, a few words of code. Thank you, and have a great night, or I'll see you during the Q&A. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to introduce our very last presenter, but certainly not least, from North Carolina Central University. Alrighty, good evening. I will not be before you all long. My name is Asia Nell Henry, and I do serve as the Interim Associate Director for the Office of Undergraduate Admissions here at the North Carolina Central University. Um, so to those students and parents, guests, alumni, faculty, and of course our facilitator, thank you so much for um, providing this CACRO experience via virtually. Uh, so a couple of different things I do want to share with you all as a large mass. Um, as far as NCCU is concerned, we are located um, in Durham, North Carolina. Um, we are the second largest um, city in the state of North Carolina, Dur Durham, North Carolina is. So as far as the attractions and the many things to do in the area, the downtown Durham area is definitely growing and um, definitely thriving. Um, as far as some quick facts for you guys, uh, our total enrollment, we have 8,078 students. And out of that 8078, 6434 are undergraduate students. Um, do you mind making it full screen? Sorry. Oh, yes, ma'am. No problem. Okay. Full screen on mine. Give me just a second. Can you all see that? Yes, we're good to go. Okay. Awesome. Great. Sorry about that. Um, we are super excited and super proud to know that even during a 
um, world pandemic, we were able to admit um, and meet our goal um, by having 1,231 new um, students admitted to the institution and enrolled um, for fall 2020. So we are looking to continue in that same trajectory for fall 21. Um, currently right now, as far as the average weighted GPA, it is a 3.2 GPA. Um, as, war, as far as the SAT at 971 and ACT at 18. Um, right now, in order to get into NCCU, you do need a 2.5 GPA. Um, the only requirements right now that we're asking is that 2.5 GPA as well as the official transcript. Um, we are currently a test optional. Um, we do not know exactly what fall 22, that is well 21, 22 cycle will actually place in. Um, however, right now you're looking to apply for summer 21 or fall 21. Um, test scores are currently waived at this time. So what are some of the top majors at NCCU? Criminal justice, business, psychology, um, nursing, any science in the biology and biomedical sciences, as we do have two research facilities on our campus. So if you are interested in research, NCCU is definitely the institution for you. Um, our nursing department, um, we have our very own general hospital. We practice our very own hands-on experience um, for our students. And of course, criminal justice. We do part up with the Durham County um, Metro Police. So you, you do have experience um, with that department as well. As far as the applications, we are also a rolling admissions institution. So we, we are accepting students as they come, but we definitely recommend that you wanna make sure you put everything in by April 1st, just to make sure that you are definitely um, you know, in the, in, the, in the wave of applications and getting everything all settled with your housing, registration and, and other items as well. Just some points of pride, um, we do offer 81 majors and 126 degree concentration. So what's the difference? Look at your degree concentration as a specialty. So we do offer that. Um, our class student to faculty ratio, it is a 16 to one um, with a 23 average class size, which is extremely factual. Um, I'm also a faculty member on campus and I actually had 23 students in my class. So we definitely wanna make sure that students and faculty definitely have that really great relationship um, in, the, in the actual classroom. And just some other few different things. Um, we are the first university in the UNC system to require community service as a graduation requirement. So you don't have to have community service um, in order to, to actually apply to be accepted, but in order to graduate, we do want our students to be academically inclined, but also trendsetters and global trendsetters as it pertains to giving back as far as community service. Um, we are number seven in the best HBCUs from the 2021 College Raptor Magazine. Um, we've gained multiple recognition as it pertains to our community engagement. Um, so we are continuing to move the ladder um, as it pertains to our community engagement, as well as our academic achievement. Why NCCU? We want you here. Um, we are continuing to build our institution with new buildings, new infrastructure. Um, if you're looking for a medium to large institution, um, with a family, a family sense, definitely NCCU, the Maroon and Gray, we welcome you. Um, if you have any questions, my information is at the bottom here below. Please send us an email at admissions at nccu.edu, or you can give us a call at 919-530-6665. Um, I did want to also mention, I did forget to mention um, our sports and our athletics. We are currently Division I in our MEAT conference. So, of course, due to COVID, our sports were suspended, but we are definitely looking to pick that back up in the fall. Um, we have 13 sports um, with the exception of golf. Um, however, but we are looking to, again, to commence our fall sports um, this upcoming summer. And again, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Eagle Pride. Awesome, thank you. All great information being shared. Um, and so, uh, I it again, it's really helpful. So thank you. Um, we do have some time left. And so we're going to go ahead and pivot into our Q&A portion of the webinar um, of this session. And so um, again, feel free to submit those questions through the Q&A. Our representatives can get to you directly. Um, so you still have time to submit those questions. Um, but we'll go ahead and start with our first question to all our presenters, um, which is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? Again, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process. And at this time, I invite um, all representatives to please turn on their cameras, to unmute themselves, and I'll go ahead and start answering this question in the order in which you all presented it. Thank you. Um, so the advice that I would give for someone going through the college admission process is really that there's no wrong pathway. Um, on your journey. So there are so many different opportunities. And a lot of times you hear 
find your best fit school. Well, there are a lot of really good schools out there. And there are a lot of schools that could be a really great fit or our best fit for you. So do your research, find the pathway that's going to work for you because everybody's journey looks different. Um, and it is okay for yours to look different than your friends and your peers. Um, and you will find a best fit school for you regardless of what school that is in the end. Absolutely. To piggyback off of that, um, you know, you said to take a look at whichever school you feel like would be a best fit. Um, to go along with that, be open minded. You know, you may end up going to the school that is in your backyard, or you may go to the opposite coast. So just be open minded, look at all the options because there are a lot of options out there. I agree with both. Um, so I recommend visiting. Um, so virtually is definitely the way to do it. But if you can visit a campus, be there, see everything, see how beautiful it is, and really feel that fit as well, too. Um, that's something I highly encourage. And you never know, you may get a free t-shirt, a free meal out of it. So um, always um, try to visit schools. I know cross country is really hard for those looking out of state, but um, do as much as you can to really learn more about um, the place of your dreams. Great advice from all my colleagues. I would encourage you to start early. Uh, just from your participation being here tonight, you're already on the right track. But uh, I find many students that come to the process late and then there's just not enough time to help them to take advantage of all the benefits of different campuses, looking for financial aid, finding the right major, finding the right school. So the, the earlier you can get started, even just in putting schools on your list, your top five, your top 10, and then go from there. Uh, be sure to submit your applications if you're interested. Get those fee waivers if you can. Uh, that is a huge benefit to you. Yes, I agree with, with everyone. Um, so I will um, piggyback off the visiting. Um, schedule a campus tour, whether it's virtual, face-to-face. -face. Um, Shaw University on April 1st, we will open our campus tours back. So we're excited about that. Um, but check out the campus, um, check out, you know, the surrounding areas, um, what the schools um, have to offer. Go check the staff directory out. Just go find a major that you want to do it, email a professor. Um, so just get connected with the university and research as well. And I will say lastly, again, with agreeing with my colleagues, but I will also say just do your research, um, you know, in your downtime. Definitely look at some things that you want to do. Um, every school specializes in different things. So if you know you want to do, um, you know, a certain particular major that that institution may specialize in, I would highly recommend that you take a look into that as well. Um, of course, visiting is always going to be great. Uh, which now social media, you can connect with so many different current students, you know, even kind of seeing, you know, what exactly um, is taking place, you know, currently at these institutions. And of course, um, a lot of students, a lot of schools now are having different student sessions. So definitely get involved with those student sessions as well, because there's no, there's, there's no better way to get connected by to actually to learn from your peers. So I would definitely say that's also some really good advice. Great advice. Um, it's always helpful to hear directly um, from those who work um, at their respective institution. Um, and so again, thank you for um, all the great advice. Um, I think we're, I was gonna try to see if we can get to one more, but I think the time is a little short, um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close. Again, feel free to submit those last minute questions in, um, but we'll go ahead and close the webinar. Thank you um, to our presenters for uh, all the information, it was super helpful. And thank you all to each of you for joining us. Um, as we close, there will be a very quick four question survey that will appear in your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, um, it'll be really helpful feedback. There are more sessions happening, uh, more sessions happening tonight. So feel free to sign up for more to hear from wonderful uh, representatives from all these different Carolina schools and more. And lastly, this recording will be available a week from today at strivescan.com backslash Carolinas. All, record, all sessions will be recorded. Again, thank you and have a great night.